There are all sorts of amazing things left to see in this world. If you believe that it's all been seen and or captured on film, you're terribly mistaken. We're working here for 10 days without going outside. From lions showing pet ownership emotions and actions to long lost bunkers of regimes past, here are 15 mysterious things found by tourists. Lion Hugs No matter how many times someone might tell you lions are friendly, it's still a wild animal, an extremely large and powerful one at that. They may look adorable, but one quick slash or bite from those powerful features could end in disaster. Good thing this lion really was friendly and just wanted to say hello with a few hugs. It makes sense that he goes straight to the driver as the lion likely sees this park worker giving tours all the time. When it comes to the back, however, you can imagine how terrifying that would be. The woman that recorded the footage was having no part in the lion hugs and good thing too because the world wouldn't be seeing such an adorable and crazy video if she hadn't. Some of the passengers were brave individuals and didn't flinch even after the lion made its way into the others back with them. The way this cat started rubbing its head on the passengers is testament to how much it likes humans. Weirdly enough, hard not to run, hard not to pet. Decisions, decisions. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. This tourist just happened upon what no one was supposed to see. If something this large and creepy was common knowledge, many people would think twice about entering any body of water going forward. If they already think twice about it, then they would think thrice. Heck, even those completely unafraid of water might be hesitant to even dip your toe in after seeing a behemoth like this emerge. The image was dropped on the internet without much context. It could be real or it could be fake. If indeed fake, they did a great job getting certain details correct. If it is real, time for humans to give up water and run for the hills. Who would want one of these monsters slithering their way up to them? Heck, a creature that large could ingest a human no problem. While the proportions of its body seem weird, it's similar to that of a serpent after gorging itself on some pretty large prey. As you can see, it thins out once more toward the end of the tail. What in the world could this creature have eaten to make it look like that? What do you think? Real or fake? Drop a line in the comments to chime in on the conversation and don't forget to include the hashtag missing topic to be heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Giant water spout. When you think of water spouts, think massive water tornado. Few places in the world experience them, but when they hit, they hit hard. Smith Island, Maryland was recently hit with such a freak of nature and it destroyed entire neighborhoods and businesses with ease. Technically, once a water spout crosses over onto land, it's considered a tornado, but it still has a ton of water in it from whence it came. The footage shows how powerful these forces of nature truly can be. Entire roofs of homes are seemingly ripped from their places and tossed about as if it were a feather in the breeze. Tornadoes and water spouts are nothing to scoff at, as many who have experienced one can attest. If you're lucky, one might form out in the middle of nowhere to be observed. However, if one is nearby a town, there's little that anyone can do to save it from destruction. The only thing one needs to worry about, if ever in the area of such a vicious storm, is to get the heck away and or to safety. The high winds can be felt even miles away. Just imagine what it would feel like to be near it. That is, of course, if you don't get sucked up into the thing yourself. Seeing as how these storms can rip through a brick house in a flash, a human would stand no chance. <laughs> Bunny Chase Apparently, the bunnies in Japan aren't so afraid of humans and even form massive packs and follow around humans. As this footage clearly shows, there must be a hundred or so of them chasing after this woman. What she carries in her hand is unknown, but it's likely some form of treat or lure for the creatures. However, it does not explain as to why in the world so many are there and why they aren't afraid of people in the slightest. If humans constantly fed them here, it would make sense, but still, the sheer number is wild. They're so dense in numbers that their run could be considered a stampede. They eventually catch up to the woman who starts dishing out whatever it is in the bag to the wild rabbits. Here you can really see just how many of them there are. 
While most are right at the woman's feet, there are still a few dozen or so apprehensive about the situation, as evident in their distance from the rest of the group. At least there are still some smart bunnies out there trying not to get nabbed and placed in the nearest glass case at the pet store. Apparently, this is a new trend, because this type of scene has been seen in different places around the globe. One guy even lets them climb all over him. Rabbit Island in Japan is by far the most famous of such sites. <coughs> World's Scariest Seal Some people think seals are adorable and get a little too close for comfort. It's important to remember these are wild animals and extremely dangerous ones at that. While they mostly lay about in the sun all day, when it comes time for feeding, they're particularly ravenous and aggressive. As this seal clearly demonstrates, they're equipped with a sharp, powerful teeth and jaws that can easily rip human flesh with the slightest effort. While this cameraman was playing it safe on the boat, the seal put on a little show for him in typical seal fashion, but with a sinister twist. It's as if the seal is reminding him that he isn't just an adorable creature. In fact, it's a formidable one not to be taken lightly. Leopard seals especially have been known to be particularly violent, at least compared with the other species in the genus. Because they few natural predators, aside from humans, it's clear they aren't afraid of much. <laughs> Snake wine Lao Lao wine is one of the most bizarre drinks you can imagine. It isn't anything new that humans pour toxins into their body to feel a certain way, but this is on another level. The alcoholic beverages come with a potent dose of venom straight from the creature within. In order for this to happen, the alcohol needs to be made first. Then, hunters capture all manner of toxic creatures like snakes, geckos, scorpions, and centipedes. Then, the live creature is submerged and drowned in the alcohol. As the creatures are on their last leg, they release their venom in a last moment of defiance, which mixes with the alcohol and creates the famed drink. You won't find a drink like this on the menu in many places for obvious reasons. Believe it or not, locals in Laos and some other places around the world have been making and drinking this stuff for thousands of years. From hallucinations to extreme intoxications, these beverages are not for the light of heart. <laughs> the Ducky Derby The city of Chicago puts on a pretty amazing show to raise money and awareness for the Special Olympics. It might seem odd, but people go nuts to get a good viewing of the annual rubber duck race. The river flowing through Chi-Town is covered in thousands of yellow ducks as they race to the end. The current moves the duck through the river and eventually crosses a finish line. The lucky duck is plucked from the water where a number on its underside can be seen and the winner can be chosen. Most years, a whopping 75,000 rubber ducks are entered into the race with only one winner. This fun event seems like a big pollution risk, but they've managed to recapture all 75,000 ducks time and time again. There are precautions in place to prevent pollution from occurring. The river is a cherished place in Chicago, which leads directly into Lake Michigan. For St. Patrick's Day, they even dye the entire river green for celebration. With events like these happening every year, the river is a centerpiece for the city. The ducks are dumped from a massive dump truck all at once and stuck behind a barricade. Once it's time for the race, the barricade is removed and they're off. Giant Horse Statue Most of the planet sees Genghis Khan as a ruthless and savage dictator whose brutal campaigns of terror and wholesale massacre of humans is assumed to have resulted in the deaths of up to 40 million people. Astounding, right? However, to the people of Mongolia, he's revered as a national hero for once ruling over the largest empire in history. He also is credited with establishing the Mongols as a political and cultural force to this day. It's because of this that the Great Wall of China, once it was united into one, was joined together in the first place. Despite the notorious stance, the fact his face can be found on logos, restaurants, and even liquor and cigarettes, it's clear that the story is far from waning. Very few people in history have made such a mark on the entire globe. Back in 2008, the giant statue of Khan atop his cherished horse was constructed a mere 33 miles away from the capital of Mongolia. It's become the world's largest equestrian statue and stands more than double the height of the previous record holder in Uruguay. It rivals that of the ancient Greek statues of gods. <laughs> Penguin Escape Penguins are agile swimmers and precise hunters, but they aren't the best at defending themselves against the many natural predators that look at them for meals. From sharks, killer whales, and leopard seals, the penguin is the ultimate prize and cuisine. 
Much like the rest of the life on this planet, they don't enjoy being eaten, so they'll do whatever they can to make sure they remain away or escape danger. This is a hilarious example of one of penguins daring escapes from the clutches of a killer whale. Thank goodness there was a human boat floating on by when this happened because that penguin would have been out of luck. The sightseeing boat really got to see nature at work with this trip and even up close and personal once it hopped on board. Even the whale swam right up to the boat where the penguin awaits anxiously to get back home. The whale seems a little perturbed with the humans for helping the penguin out but eventually decides it's no longer worth the trouble. There are plenty of other penguins in the sea. <laughs> Ancient Vandalism When a few tourists didn't want to pay for a ticket into a national park, they decided to sneak in through the back and check out the scenery up close and personal. In doing so, they vandalized 6,000-year-old landscapes. To make matters worse, they recorded the whole thing and were heard bragging about their trickery and destruction. Unfortunately for them, that's protected land and they had incriminating evidence that they themselves gave investigators. Now, instead of merely paying for an entry ticket, they had been fined a substantial amount of money. They eventually took the videos down when they realized they were going to get in trouble, but not before tons of people saw it, downloaded it, and reshared it forever. They're lucky they didn't face jail time. The land masses they were scaling dated back millions of years. After realizing what they'd done, two of the suspects turned themselves into police. All to become famous, these people destroyed history. <laughs> Chernobyl Canteen Believe it or not, Chernobyl is coming back to life. It can be found chock full of forestry workers, biologists, and construction crews who are all continuing the efforts to dismantle the damaged reactor and remove radioactive waste from the 1,000 square mile exclusion zone. While some areas are still too dangerous to explore, many others are returning to life. When people there are ready to take a break, many of them head to Canteen 19 for a good meal and a story. Undoubtedly, it's the exclusion zone's most popular dining hall as it's the only one. They have all the Eastern European fare that includes the likes of schnitzel and cream-filled crepes. In addition, keeping workers fed through the long-haul cleanup, the restaurant welcomes any brave tourist that venture into the exclusion zone. The site can only be visited through permission of the Ukrainian government. That obviously has been disrupted recently. To enter the zone, tourists were required to sign up for a tour or hire a private licensed guide, have their passports checked beforehand by the government, and pass through a military checkpoint an hour and a half from Kiev. Hmm. Uyuni There's little anyone can say in words on how to describe the magic that's presented in Uyuni. The world's largest salt mine isn't just a sodium-rich deposit. Technically named the Salar de Uyuni, it's one of South America's most unusual attractions found around the globe. If you ever get a chance to visit the mind-bending location, you won't be disappointed. There, for hundreds of miles, all one can observe is the vast expanse of white, glistening salt that reflects the world. Combined, the salt landscape totals a near total of 7,000 miles of salt. You'd be thinking, who the heck wants to go see a ton of salt? But this is no near ordinary salt. The mysticism and magic go much deeper than surface level and has dazzled humans for thousands of years. It's massive and stunning, so much so that it can even be seen from satellite. The salt landscape is actually a giant layer of salt sandwiched between sedimentary deposits, creating a unique environment. Experts estimate there to be an estimated 10 billion tons of salt found here. That's not the only treasure hiding in the earth. About 32 feet deep, there lies a rich source of lithium, the very same metal that powers your phones, laptops, batteries, cameras, and more. If that doesn't spark your interest, take in the spectacular view that surrounds it. There are gorgeous mountain ranges, crystal clear night skies, and best of all, a phenomena that dazzles humans to this day. On a clear night, all those miles of earth act as a giant mirror for the starry night sky. It feels as if you're sandwiched between two starry skies, and it's been referred to as an immaculate, surreal moment that makes one believe in magic. <laughs> Monkey Thieves Just imagine finally heading off to Brazil to experience the wonders of the land. When a cheeky monkey shows up and decides to snatch your joy by taking your video camera away from you, it sounds bad, but in this case, isn't as awful as you might think. The monkey proceeds to film itself in an almost mocking fashion of the humans. What was supposed to be just another day of feeding the wild monkeys transformed into a mad dash to recover an expensive video camera. 
Who knows what the monkey was thinking, but it sure knew how to put on a show. Maybe they thought it was food. The reality here is the monkey acted in a way humans can consider as interacting with the tech. The beast may have seen it a million times before in other human tourists taking selfies and just decided to give it a try. Days later, the monkey was spotted, still holding the camera, and surprisingly was willing to make a trade for a piece of fruit. Thank goodness, because we'd never have such a unique video on the internet without it. <laughs> island of Dolls It had to be something creepy, like dolls, and not an island of puppies or kittens, or something else adorable. Instead, it had to be an island of dolls. When strolling through the creaking trees and lush vegetation that blankets the island of this remote Mexican island, you can find hundreds of beaten children's dolls tied or nailed up to trees. If you haven't already started trembling with fear, you might have grown a bit curious as to their existence. We're all only human, but it's important to remember curiosity killed the cat. The legend of La Isla de las Muñecas translates in English to the island of the dolls tells of a tale that the island was once home to a hermit man named Don Julian Santana a whopping 50 years ago. The man, who lived in semi-isolation, has some skeletons in his closet. That isn't to say he lived completely isolated from others, but he instead spent most of his time on the island alone. Local business owners claim that Don once came into town claiming to have seen a girl drowning in the lake and was acting extremely bizarre about it. According to witnesses, when he rushed to save her, she had been washed away by the raging waters, leaving Don in a state of despair. For some reason, he then felt compelled to devote the remainder of his life to that young girl. Locals never reported any missing children, and some questioned whether she existed at all or if it was maddening mind of an old hermit. Unconvinced of his peers' doubt in him, he started hanging dolls around the island to appease the girl's spirit. Thus, the legend was born. Feral Cats of Disneyland Feral cats are everywhere, and that does not exclude what some humans consider the happiest place on Earth. Many theme parks have tried to copy Disney, and most have failed. However, even the most prestigious is subject to the laws of nature and the will of life. These feral cats have been seen interacting with tourists, chasing the local wildlife, and even invaded some of the rides. Next time you're on a Disneyland ride, you see a cat that looks a little too real in the corner of its a small world, you might reconsider it being fake at all, which again makes you question all things in Disneyland and their validity. The point of the theme park is to immerse you in a believable world, and what kind of world would that be without feral cats everywhere? At least they keep the mice away. There are many secret things happening at Disney parks around the globe, but the pack of feral cats is not one of them. Whenever one appears near a tourist, and they're aware of their existence, a new video surfaces online. <laughs> Stalin's Bunker Only in Russia could there be a place like this discovered, whose regime benefits the elite alone. Could it all be Hollywood cliché filling the subconscious void of your imagination, or something more sinister? Beneath the earth of Moscow is a twisting tunnel system leading to a secret Cold War fortress codenamed Bunker 42. Of course, it was meant only for the elite members of government. It was initially constructed after a series of nuclear tests by the Soviet Union. These tests revealed the bunker silo's optimal depth to survive nuclear holocaust. Thus, the construction of a bunker that lies a whopping 165 feet deep was born. It was constructed as a place where Soviet elite could hide away in such circumstances, leaving behind everyone else to their doom. It seems government forget the people are what make a nation, not its officials. At the time, the tunnels were secret to any but the most elite of Soviet command, those who would be kept safe by its 50-inch thick concrete walls that surrounded it. The task for the build was unprecedented, but they completed it despite the resources stolen from the people. Tourists often capture some of the craziest things on film, as is evidenced by today's list. There's no shortage of amazing or magic in our world, but it does take some exploring to find. Who knows what will pop up on the internet next? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.